At his rally on Saturday in Michigan, former President Trump claimed that he would have received the death penalty if he had used intel agencies to spy on the campaigns of his political rivals. Trump reiterated his claim that the intel agencies under the Obama-Biden administration were, quote, caught spying on his 2016 campaign. At the rally, Trump also defended himself after an FBI raid on his home in Mar-a-Lago, stating that other former presidents kept records in their properties. Trump's accusations of deep state persecution have been central to his political identity since he assumed office in 2017. Critics have alleged that Trump, his family, and his political apparatus had questionable ties to hostile foreign entities. According to recent polls, Trump is still a leading contender for the 2024 Republican nomination and is highly competitive against President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. They're after the America first policy and make America great again. They don't like that. They don't like those words. But look at what we've been through together. Russia, Russia, Russia. Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. Which would have never happened if I was president. Impeachment hoax number one. Impeachment hoax number two. The Mueller report that came to a conclusion of no collusion. That's pretty good. Came to a conclusion of no collusion. You think Biden could say that? I don't think so. That's a pretty good, that was it. That's a tough one. But think of that, that was their conclusion. All of this money spent, they spent $48 million, 18 mad, crazy, Democrat, radical left maniacs. FBI agents all over the place. And after two years, they said, there's no collusion with Russia. But I could have told them on day one. And by the way, they knew on day one, too. They knew on day one. Then we caught them spying on my campaign and getting caught. We caught them spying on my campaign. What do you think would have happened if it was reversed? Let's take Obama, not Biden. Let's take Obama. And let's say we got caught spying on his campaign. I do believe they would reinstitute the death penalty very quickly. As we should do, by the way, for all drug dealers, okay? You want to see crime drop in this country? You'll see it drop 80% or more. We have our blue ribbon committees, however. Now we have to do that. But they lied to the FISA court. They lied to Congress. They illegally broke in, in my opinion, illegally broke in to my home in Florida in violation of the Fourth Amendment. Can you imagine that? <laughs> dozens and dozens of armed FBI agents also violating the Presidential Records Act and so much more. They violated, very simple, very reads very simply, the Presidential Records Act. And you have to see Bush had a warehouse. Bush Sr. had a warehouse. Crooked Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails, many of which were classified. Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton lost a lot of stuff. Obama, didn't they say 33 million pages of stuff? God, where is it? What happened? And yet, with all of the persecution and prosecution that we've gone through, we, I say we, all of us together, we are leading everyone in the polls by a lot. More than ever before. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. You know, you see all this stuff, and it's all fake stuff. They are fake people. But you see all of this stuff happening, and I say to a lot of different people that work for us, we have great people. I say, uh, do you think that affects us in the polls? Yes, sir. I think you've got up 10 points. We have. We've gone up a lot. But we're leading against all Republicans by more than 50 points, every one of them. You know, you hear about different Republicans. And we're beating Biden by five points or more.